Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter, and I got two very special guests. Uh, living legend, my man, Vince Del Monte. Uh, someone who I've been uh, a friend of mine, someone who I've uh, been to, someone I've been looking up to for a long time. And my man, Connor Murphy, YouTube fitness sensation. And uh, we want to talk about training for like longevity and the difference between training for athletics and training for aesthetics and, and what you need to do if you want to get the look if you want to get the mask versus if you want to perform and what are the different kind of training modalities Before we were talking about how you train actually with light weights uh, because you want the mass. Explain that a little bit more. The first thing I teach guys before you go into the gym is you got to figure out what's your goal. Mm. What is your goal, right? If your goal is to build muscle, we want to challenge muscle tissue. And I teach this concept called muscle disadvantages. What that, what that means is that we're trying to make it as hard as humanly possible. So your body's always trying to seek the path of least resistance. So that your body, when you pick up a heavy weight, is gonna disperse that load over as many different joints, muscles as possible. Which is great if you're training for strength. It's great if you're training for performance. But if you're training for aesthetics, if you're training for physique, you just wanna look good, you don't need a lot of weight. Mm, it's about the contraction. You need to make sure your muscles are working the weights and that the weights aren't working your muscles. That's good if you want to get strong. So the first thing is to learn how to make it hard. Learn how to make light weights feel heavy. Mm. It's kind of, you lift so, kind of like that too. You don't like lift crazy heavy weights. You told me once you're not even that strong. It's like it's about you. I, I'm really, looks. I'm really not. And I really don't care at all. Like a lot of people will see me lift like I'm bench press or especially squat. I'm pretty weak, man. I bet, you know, you know, like, any average person could probably lift as much as I do. Any right. asshole off the street. Anyone, man. That guy over there, right there, he could probably lift as much as me. Fuck but that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, you know, today we were training in the gym and even the, some of the greatest bodybuilders like Frank Zane would mm -hmm. teach that numbers are arbitrary, right? So your body doesn't know if you're rowing 75 or 45, it only understands how much tension you create in that muscle, right? The currency of muscle growth is tension, all right? So what he's doing a really good job at is directing that load he's got in his hand into the muscle. That's why he doesn't need a lot of weight. Mm. Guys who don't know how to contract muscle need heavy weights mm. because then they just get a small percentage of that heavy weight into the muscle. Or they're using really short range of motion. Well, you better lose, use a lot of weight because you're hard to the weight a couple inches. It all comes down to knowing what your goal is. If you want to get stronger, you want muscle advantages, right? Athletes, you got to be fast. You got to be explosive. You need to use momentum. You're competing. Hmm. All right, we want to cheat. We want to make it as easy as possible. We want to become efficient. But if your goal is muscle growth, sculpting your body, you want to become inefficient. We always want to make it as hard as possible. So that, again, just requires to reduce the weight, slow it down, connect the mind to the muscle, and feel your muscles work and form too, right? Like, like, time. like, like you can do. Like, I know Arnold did cheap curls every once in a while, right? And, and I get that. But like, when you're curling, like, you wanna keep your elbows, right? Like, you don't, you want, you don't wanna move your back. You wanna kind of slip the weight and then control it for them. Exactly. Yeah. You wanna keep the tension on the thing you're trying to challenge. The little phrase I use is, is this: If you can't contract it, you can't challenge it. And if you can't challenge it, you can't grow it. Mm -hmm. All right. And before all that. If you're not in control of it, you can't contract it, period. So you've got to be controlling the weights. It all starts with control. Con yeah, Connor, I, I noticed that you've had, like, when I work out with you, you're like one of the few young guys that I see you train with, like, impeccable form. Has it been like that from the beginning, from the onset? And what's your mindset around, like, your training philosophy? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, at first, I really didn't know what I was doing. So, like, everyone, I kind of eagled it. But once I learned, like, if you want to, you know, build aesthetics, it doesn't really matter, you know, how, how fast you are, how big you are, how much you lift, right? As people probably know, and most people kind of feel the same way, I'm, I'm in it to get girls, man. I'm in it to look good, right? Like, the girls- I'm married, I'm out of the game. <laughs> but, I mean, the girls don't really- Oh! 
something like that. <laughs> the girl, the girl, the girls don't really care about how strong I am. They don't really care about how fast I am. Mm. In fact, most girls would probably, you know, want me to be like less fast than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> and so, there's no point in me trying to deadlift 600 pounds, man. I want to contract the muscle, and so I can build the mass, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I can get that aesthetic look. Right. Because the girls do care about my looks a little bit. I don't even, a little bit. I don't even think about it as lifting weights anymore. I think about it as like contracting the muscle under a load. Yeah. Right. So the great phrase is this: If you want to build muscle, your muscles work the weights. If you want to build strength, let the weights work your muscles. Well, okay. But Vince, there's a lot of guys on the internet, you know, and they're saying, "Hey, man, you just got to get strong if you want to be big. You got to get not that. true. That sounds ridiculous to me because there's like, a lot of skinny guys online who deadlift 500 pounds. If you look at the world records yeah. for a lot of Olympic lifts, there's the guy who sets the world record in the 115 pound class can throw 400 pounds above his head. We think so. Yes, strength. Yes, strength can potentiate size. It can set you up for the potential to get bigger, but it's not directly correlated. It's different muscle fibers. Yeah. Like it's just totally different muscle fiber. And, and if you think this, who the strongest people in the world, pound for pound, they're like. Um, they're power lifters and they want to see who can lift the most without gaining. They want to be able to get stronger and let me ask literally you guys, without gaining weight. How many guys do you guys know who can deadlift over 500 pounds that don't have hip problems? Name one. How many guys do you know who can bench press 30, 300 pounds that don't have shoulder problems? Name one. So that's the thing, when you start going heavier, it comes with a consequence, right? Mm. So you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? Or can I get the same result with less load? So like injury, like injury prevention is another thing. Especially that's like the me thing. and you, so like we're, we're older, like we're not 30s and you're, and, and, you're, and you're getting better with age. A yeah. lot of these guys who are lifting heavy weights on YouTube in their mid 20s, they're not gonna be able to lift in their 30s. So the name of the game is to keep being able to build muscle into your 30s, 40s, 50s, and then you're gonna gain more net muscle over time, uh, all right? So I'm getting better too with age just because I don't get hurt. I've never been injured my entire life in the gym at 37. Every injury I had was like trying to lift me more than I should. You know what I'm so the cool thing is, is that your body will figure out how to, we all went to the gym tonight and said, let's do 500 pound deadlift. We want more views on the channel. Yeah. We'd figure out how to get that 500 pounds off the floor. Oh, yeah. Your body would compensate, but something would also snap. So what was the point? Mm -hmm. What's the point of being able to lift 500 pounds once? What's the point of being able to bench press 300 pounds once, right? Be what's the point of doing Spartan running once? Then you yeah. get hurt. Yeah. Do stuff that you can handle and you can own so you don't get hurt. So so we're talking about like having good form, yeah. uh, contraction, like contraction is really like, slow down, contract the muscle. Slow down. What about time under tension? You know, time under tension, yeah. that's it, man. Your muscles don't understand load, they understand time under tension. So you, you nailed it. Yeah, man. All right, so th those are just things y'all, you guys might want to think about. Like, this guy's, this kid saw me in the gym and I was doing rack pulls. He's like, man, you're not that strong. I'm like, well, it, some other guy lifts this much. And then I seen that video and I was like, well, yeah, man, but he's looking crazy, you know? And he's always taking time off because of the injury, right? Like, I'm, you know, I'm looking different, you know, because I'm trying to attack the muscle. And, and you're clear on your goal, man. Yeah. You know, you want the aesthetics. A lot of guys, they're not clear on why they're even going to the gym. Yeah. Should I be getting stronger? Should I be gaining muscle? You got to pick your goal. Well, right? There's some people who say, hey, these, somebody's thinking about typing right now. These guys are all show and no go. What do you who say to that? Who cares? Yeah, man. That's not my goal. Yeah. If your goal is to be go, then by all means, go. Then but go. there's going to be consequences of that. That's why professional athletes, they come in and out of their sport because they always get hurt. Bro, it's 30, like, they're all retired by their by the time they're sure. me and your age. There's like a 35, consequence to that, everyone's retired, right? Yeah, I'm retired. Everyone's retired by the time they're, like, they're over the hill. Like, yeah. they say they're from the twilight of their career. And I feel, because I haven't been going like that, like, training like that, I feel like I'm stronger than ever. Yeah. Like, I really feel like I'm stronger than ever. And that's what you guys, Connor has had that, he's gonna be, he's gonna be, look at him now. He's gonna keep getting better because he doesn't, he's gonna keep getting better because he doesn't, he does he does know? Know? Get, he doesn't get hurt, years. right? I yeah. think, I think <laughs> in like, in 20 years, man, I'm probably still gonna wanna get girls. So I don't listen. I'm all about that longevity, man. I'm 37 with two kids, so I just gotta laugh when I hear this. This is yeah, hilarious. Man. <laughs> It'll get old eventually, bud. Yeah. Probably. I'm just gonna tell you that. It gets old. But, but I'm yeah. always gonna enjoy I'm always gonna enjoy the muscle man. You know, I'm always gonna be about aesthetics. I'm never gonna really care about how much I lift. Cause I don't really care. 
I just don't care. I just don't care. I just don't care. It's all ego. I mean, unless there's no reason to be able to bench 400. Like, what? It like, you want to hit by a car? Like, price. get this off me. You know, it's like you know the not, way I look at different exercises mm -hmm. and different ways of lifting? It's kind of like investing in certain stocks. Mm -hmm. Some kind of stocks you just don't want to bet on. You just don't want to bet on that kind of training long term because there's a lot of risk associated with it. So when you're going to the gym, ask yourself, is adding this extra amount of weight to the bar worth it? Or can I get the same result with less weight? And almost if the answer is almost always less unless you're in a sport where they're judging you based on how much weight you move. Right. But if you're not in the sport of powerlifting, you don't have to play by powerlifting rules. Yeah, or if you're in the NFL or something like if you like there's yeah. a difference between training for athletics and yes. training for aesthetics. Exactly. Right. But I think that's the yeah. big thing that's wrong with the industry right now. Everybody's treating people like athletes when people aren't athletes. If you're not an athlete, you don't need to train like an athlete. Yeah. You need to train like an individual based on what your goal is and what you want to get out of the exercise. Simple. Well said, man. Listen, if you don't already, make sure you follow uh, Vince. His channel is uh, linked below. Connor's got like 18 uh, YouTube channels, man, and they all got like over 7 million. So like you want to go to his, the, the link to his stuff I below. I don't think it's he's epic. far off. <laughs> it's epic. And you're already on my channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, Fuck is gonna matter with you? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Uh, do yourself that favor. I love you, man. And then if you, if you also done fucking up your life, you can hit the uh, notification button so it shows up. And uh, man, man, thank you guys for. How do you do that, man? What? You oh. gotta teach me how you do that pose. Man. Oh That's man, so you know good, what? Man. It's like I love it. You can't teach it or learn it. Yeah, it's I know. Innate. It's, I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Man. Thanks. Well, thank you guys. Right. Appreciate it. All right, guys. All right.